Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to take a report summary and turn it into a proper table. Sometimes you might get a report like this. We do a Windows plus key to have our little zoom tool here. And you'll see that you've got different and multiple headers. Now we've got multiple headers make and model here. And we've got multiple headers here for our region and our vendors here, right? And so we want to turn all this Windows escape. We want to turn all this into something that's a little bit more easy to put into table so we can do further analysis, something like this. So I'll show you how to do something like this using Power Query. So we've got our report here and we're going to use Power Query to turn it into a proper table. We've got other Power Query videos and if you stick around to the end of the video, you'll see a playlist if you're interested. But let's get on with this one. Now there's a couple ways we can bring this into Power Query. One is turning it into a table or one it's referencing the, another sheet from a blank sheet. I like the latter because then you don't have to transform your source. What does that mean? Well, let's say that we brought this in natively into Power Query. I'd go under data and select from table and range. It's going to try to guess what I'm trying to do, but it only picked cell A1. That's not what I want. Let's select from column B. Select column B and we're going to go over to Q here, go to data and then from table and range. And what it's going to do is it's going to look at this whole range you selected and see if we could turn it into a table. Click OK and we come into Power Query. It's brought the source in. It's added those extra row. It's added an extra row here and that's not what I want. Let's say I close this and say discard. But now my source data has been changed. It's been turned into a table. Maybe I don't want that. So I'm going to do another way where I'm just going to source it from my worksheet natively. Let's open up a new worksheet, control N for new worksheet. And we're going to go to data. Let's get data and from file. So we're going to go browse for that file. So from workbook and let me just go browse for it. Here I've navigated to my worksheet. Click on that and click import. And now it's going to bring it into the navigator window. Let's look at, at a preview of the sheet and click that. We see there's only one sheet in here and we've got our data in here. I need to transform the data. So I'm going to click transform data and that's going to bring it into Power Query Editor. And this is where we're going to do the mo most of the transformation. Unfortunately, it's added some additional steps between the source and navigation. It's promoted the headers and changed types. I don't need these two steps. Click on that to remove, click on that to remove. And the first thing I want to do is I want to fill down some data because you'll notice that in this column, we've got our make and our model and these makes uh, this is a Dodge Caravan, Dodge Intrepid. So I want to fill down that data for all the cars or the models that have the same make. You can you can notice a pattern here. We've got our Dodges here. We've got our Fords here. So I'm going to use the fill command. Right click, select fill and we're going to fill down. So that's going to fill down all the models and makes that are appropriate there. The next step I want to do is I want to combine these two because I want to transpose the data later on and do the same thing with the information up here. Select these two columns press the shift key, select column one, column two, right click and select merge. And we're just going to merge it and add a delimiter to it. So the separator is going to be a colon. You can use any of the other ones. I'll just choose the first one, the colon, because there's no colons here anywhere else. Click OK. And there's one thing that I need to look at here because um, this, this is a good thing of looking at your data, because if I scroll down, we'll notice that there is this grand total. I don't need that that grand total that was at the bottom. So I let's filter it out. We could have filtered it out earlier, uh, but we can filter it now. So we don't need that grand total. So uncheck that so it removes that because that's the data that we don't need. When we do further analysis, we can we can do some aggregation later on once we get that proper table. Now we'll notice that there's also some areas here where we also need to fill out because we've got our region here and Africa these vendors fall under Africa. These vendors here fall under America. So we want to do the same thing we did here when we filled down here. What we need to do is put this into its own column. And the way to do that is to transpose the columns. So we go to transform, click on transpose. And now we've transposed our data. We can fill down this data here. Right click, fill, and it fills down. And we've got that. So we're getting kind of close here because we've got one column that has our region. We've got another column that has our vendors. We need another column that has our make and models. And how, how can we do that? And you may think that we need we can transpose the data again, but it doesn't really work well when we do that. Let's see. We click on those two and we try to transpose 
and it just doesn't work. So another way to do it is we're going to unpivot this data, but the first thing we need to do is to make these into header columns to unpivot it to make it look a little bit nicer. So go under transform, use first row as headers. You can see these, the, that first row became headers here, and now we can unpivot the data. These two are still selected. Right click, unpivot other columns because we want to unpivot the other columns, and now those columns are in its own row and we need to just split them out. We had merged them earlier with the colon, now we need to split them out. And just click on the column, right click and split column by delimiter. And we can split by the colon. Power Query is smart enough to figure out it is a colon to, that splits them. So that's selected, click OK. And now we split everything out. We've got our region, we've got our vendor, we've got our make, model and we've got our quantity. All we need to do now is adjust the headers. So we, this is going to be region, this is going to be vendor, this one we make, double click that, make, model, and then quantity, right? Now we got our model here, whoops, double click that, delete, model, and then quantity here. And after we do that, all we need to do is bring it back into Excel, go under Home, close and load, and it's going to load in its own worksheet in Excel. Now we've got our proper table. We can put it into a pivot table or we can make charts out of this, and we can do further analysis with this data. So that's how you can take a report that you've gotten that has multiple header rows or multiple column rows and turn it into a proper table for further analysis using Power Query. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.